Alright, MJ already knows the down command. Um, the thing is with MJ, unless there's food on the other end of that command, um, he could just very well look at you like um, you're an alien. So now we're going to layer in low level e collar pressure over top of a command that he already knows. So that means I'm going to turn this on, 4 out of 100, continuous pressure, give the command, once he complies, pressure goes away and he gets fed. Now, the reason why we're using the e-collar with him is so that we can build in reliability. There's um, a thing called accountability. Without it, um, a dog could very well know how to do something, just like MJ, but just not do it because he doesn't feel like it. Um, so accountability, which this will eventually bring us, um, will provide us with reliability. So every time MJ breaks a down because he's distracted or because he's just excited, um, low level pressure turns back on and you repeat the command and distractions get heavier and heavier as we slowly build um, reliability into the command. So, yeah, good job buddy. I want you to notice the Sphinx pose. We want dogs in the most relaxed position, the most committed position possible, not ready to launch out of in a moment's notice. So I'm going to ask him to shift his hip by just repeating command and reapplying low level pressure. Down. Down. Go away. So I use a little bit of body pressure as well, spatial pressure. That's good, bud. That's good. That's good. I'm going to start building in reliability by walking around him first. Good. Good. Your reward for holding place. Free. Good boy, bud. He's going. He's a good man. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Free. <laughs> Down. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Nope. Down. Down. Good. You're a drama queen, aren't you, kid? Good boy. Good. Good boy, MJ. That's good, buddy. Good boy. Good. Break. Good. Down. Wilder and wilder. Nope. Down. Good. As you slowly start to build reliability. Good. That's good. Good boy. Nope. Down. Good. 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 That's good, boy. Good job. Good job. Down. Go boy. Good boy. Good 
boy. That's good. Freak! Nice, buddy. Good job, my buddy. Good job, my buddy. He's good. Down. Good. Down. Go boy. That's good. That's very good. That's a good man. Let's go, buddy.
Good job. Freak! Hit one. Good job. So, because of all of those prior moments of correction with low level pressure, I knocked on the door. Um, when I first got the bike out, I think there were a couple other ones he learned that even with a high value um, thing like food, to hold his position um, until I release them. Right, you know, smart boy. What a smart boy. So now the only other thing that would probably get him to break it down is something that he's afraid of, um, like a vacuum or really loud noises. So um, that's usually the final test in holding downs and um, creating a very clear picture of holding that command no matter what's going on around you. Down. Go boy. That's good. That's a good boy. So, I can. He didn't really care too much about it when we proofed place. But when you're in a down, you're in a more compromised position. You don't feel so protected. Oh boy, bud. It's very vulnerable for a dog to be in a down. So this could change everything, right? <laughs> show you we are working on a four out of 100 continuous pressure and every time he pops up out of that without me releasing him first continuous pressures turn on until he's fully down once again I use it to initiate the command as well so that my peeps is how you slowly build reliability Because when you're in a down position, you're one step further away from breaking command. 
you were born bloody and you're in a much more relaxed state of mind because where the body goes the mind is sure to follow